governance for me, I, I think the start and finish of this, you know, if, you, if you don't have a governance plan in place, machine learning never goes into production. Um, there was a, a very famous example for those who were in the data science space of a, of a large financial institution here in the UK who spent a significant investment in hiring some of the best data scientists available at the time. These guys were brilliant. You know, they're, they're people that I followed on their social media because they produced genuinely innovative thinking in the space. For two years, these guys worked. Nothing went into production. Uh, and they were open about it. One of the reasons why things never went into production is simply because they couldn't get the approvals necessary to get something into production. Um, and there were factors involved in this. We, we see this story being repeated as I speak to my customers and my partners. And in, the, in that very specific example, it was time-based. You know, they, they'd worked on a data set that was old by the time they received it, which meant by the time they'd built the machine learning model using that data, the efficacy of that model was diminished because the data was now considered out of date. And that's, that's one of a number of types of problems that we see with this. It's if you don't have a plan in place to prove the e efficacy of the model from has it used the right data? Is it controlling the risk in my business? Is it introducing new risk? How can I trust it that it's not going to be um, allowing my business to run a higher risk compared to where I was before? These, these are questions you should expect to know the answers to before models can go into production. Um, and these are the questions that the business should be asking of model development because there has to be that, that uh, you know, um, lockstep process in place between the data science teams and the business teams so that everyone's got complete confidence that whatever is going into production is there to allow new risk to be detected, but certainly not to reduce or miss things that were being caught before. Terms like explainability are important. Terms like um, evidence and proof and trustability are important. And that's where governance comes in. And, and if it's not built into the data science process, it, it is too late to add it afterwards. I love Mike, if you wanted to elaborate on that. <clears throat> yeah, so all, all, all very valid. And what, what I've learned, what we've learned here at Actimize is that we really need to think of governance in multiple languages, right? So we have to provide uh, development, e development evidence documentation, which provides very detailed technical analysis of the algorithms that are used, the technology that's underpinning the models. <clears throat> That serves a purpose to ensure that the data science community is satisfied and, and really understand what we're doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But we also have to provide the evidence in that business language as well. It's no, it's no point providing uh, a business team, a compliance officer with a very specific technical evaluation of what our model is doing. We need to tell the compliance teams, the, the compliance officers, this is what's going to happen if you put this model into production. We've verified, we've simulated this model on multiple data sets. We produced these outcomes the models make these decisions, and we've proved it on historical data sets. This is what we need to tell you in order for you to be confident that this can be adopted and can be put into production. So we really have to work hard to ensure we've got both of these languages nailed from, a, from, a, from, a, from an evidence, from a governance perspective. And it's always ongoing, right? So once, an, once, once a model has been adopted, it doesn't mean that's it. We've ticked our governance box, we've moved on, we can get on with our lives. It's constant. We have to constantly track and monitor how the models are performing. We need to ensure that the models understand when they're degrading, when they need to be retrained, when they need to be refreshed, when there is a market event that requires uh, a change. There has to be a constant um, piece of governance in, in, in play and the processes around that to ensure that we can act upon when, when there's a flag raised because of the governance. So it's a really important thing, and it has to be part of uh, that, that day one conversation when it comes to analytics. It can't be an afterthought. That's, that's what stops uh, various different analytics programs from being productionized. It's got to be, it's got to be thought about off, off the bat, from, you know, straight away, and really put a, a strong governance process in place from, from day one. Mm -hmm.